So today I just wanted to come and talk to you a little bit about the Ravens RPO game. Uh, RPO stands for run pass option. Uh, one of my colleagues think it stands for run power often, but it's run pass option. And um, a lot of you guys know what it means, but I'm really here just to kind of show the difference. Well, not to show the difference, but to show you what an RPO is in compared to a play action. I don't have any play action on this this video. It's all RPO, and I'm going to break down a few of the simple RPO pl plays that the Ravens do. So uh, sit back, enjoy, watch, and relax. Welcome back. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're going to break down this Ravens RPO uh, scheme, the simple RPO scheme, nothing extravagant, just a little base, base RPOs. And for um, most people, RPO means... Um, run pass option. I have a colleague of mine that it means run power often and it's a little running joke, but he loves the power play and he calls it a lot. Um, but for most of the flock fans know what RPO means, but I'm sure there are a few fellas uh, and ladies out there that may not know what RPO means. And it looks like a um, play action, but it's not a play action. You actually, ha you actually have a guy that's going to be the read. And if he goes one way, you do X. And if he goes another way, you do Z. And so basically, I'm just going to show you today, like I got three plays that I picked out and kind of show you, you know, what an R the base RPO is or what a base RPO is in um, today's modern football. And the Ravens kind of run a, a good many of them, but I'm just, I just picked out three of the basic ones. And it's not just Lamar. This first play is RG3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run through first. I'm going to let you see the, the wide and the, the back shot. And then I'll come back and talk about it. Or you come into motion, making an even set, two by two. Go a little out route to Hollywood. This is the Steelers game. This is the game I actually got to attend. A little out route. So now let's talk about it. All right, so RPO. This is our read guy. I'm going to show you the read guy. This young fella right here. I think it's 98 or 93. One of the two. We'll see from the back view's number. So this was going to happen. That's our read guy. Now, if he makes any steps in the box, toward the box, to the left, he's going to throw this little out route. If he makes any steps to the inside the box, if he if he don't turn around right now, that ball's going out. Now, let me erase this. If he flies out there, they're going to hand the ball off and run a little inside zone. Let me see, I'm going to tell you why. Let me get rid of these numbers again. So if he if he goes out here, that, then he's out the box, correct? So now it leaves him with one, two, three, four, five, six guys in the box. Look how many offensive linemen and tight ends we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if he runs out of there, we can block all these guys. And we should have a nice lane for Gus or whoever this running back is to fit it and go about their business. All right? With that being said, if he stays in the box, now they have seven versus our six, seven. And the only advantage we would have is if uh, RG3 pulls the ball. So then you come right now. You don't have an alley player. You run a quick, sharp out. Get you a quick four or five yards right off the bat, just like a running play. He, throw, he shuffles down in the box. So now look at look at all this grass. All this grass over here. All this grass to throw to. Because he's shuffling in the box. All that grass to throw to. Quick out. Quick out. Let's see it from the back. You get a better view from the back. All right, again, here's our read guy here, 98. If he takes any steps, let me let him get set up first. All right, let's look at the numbers. Right now, they have two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven. We have six, seven. We're not counting quarterback. All right, so it's seven on seven. Quarterback and free safety kind of, you know, match up. Seven on seven right here. 
So at this point, they technically have the numbers. This gap, this gap, this gap, this gap, that gap. And you say, say he go there, and he go there. They got all the gaps covered, all of them, all the gaps. So right now, they have the advantage, unless the quarterback pulls the ball. And we really don't want our G3 pulling, plus it was wet and a bunch of other factors go in. Now, so the read, like again, 9 is the read. If you make any step in here, he's going to take that ball and throw it out. So what? So watch when he when uh, RG three snaps the ball. Watch his eyes. All right, his eyes are right, right there, right now, right there, right now. Looking at that guy. He shovels down. He pulls it out. Makes it throw. That simple. There's, there's nothing more to it. Nothing more to it. This is the run option. This is the run option, but he goes with the run option. And so now he pulls it out because he has a number that advantage and then pass. RPO, that simple. That simple. Let's go to the next play. This is versus the Jets. Now Lamar's in the game, so let's, let's watch him and see what happens. Mm, what a great route, too. What a great route. All right, let's bag it up. Now your read is number 46 is your read. He's right here. That's your read, guy. If he take any steps down the hitter on his run fake, Hollywood's going to shoot in there. But what Hollywood did was he, he widened this dude out to give himself more room. So he went out here first and, bam, shut it back inside. Shut it back inside, which gave him more room versus him and versus him. Watch this route. Why he widening this dude out? Got his hips turned. Now look at all this area he got. All that area he got. Because the only person that can defend this area is this dude. And he chasing the run. Lamar poured it out. Dark. Right there. Right where it needs to be. Simple RPO. Again, from the back, you get a clear view of what's going on. All right, here's 46 right here. He's gonna go this way with the with the play act, well not the play action, with the run fake or with the run option. And if he had took off this way, I guarantee you he handed his ball off and um, who was that? Mark Ingram does his thing because if he if he goes right, now you got a block here, block here, you got a, a double with these two guys up to there. Yonder gonna cut him off. Uh, who is this? This is Hurst playing tackle. Or tackle. I don't know why Hurst playing tackle right here. He's gonna cut him off, and then you read this dude. This will be your read guy. So we got numbers, but he he decides to go in here. So now we don't have numbers. Got open grades. Look at his eyes. His eyes still right there on forty six, trying to see what he do. He shuffled down. I'm gonna pull this out. Dark. Right there. That simple. That simple. Let's go to the last play. Last play is one of my favorite plays. Early in the year. Early in the year. Early in the year. To the crib with a plate in his foot. Now, I don't care what you say. Later on in the year, if you get this same play, that safety don't close that gap because he's starting to be healthy. Keep in mind, he's still hurt right here. How good that fake was, man. Did you see that just the whole... He even faked the camera out. Let's go back. See who I read is. Get to once the motion is gone. Okay. All right, motion guy's gone. Reed is right here. That's our read guy. That's our read guy. That's the guy... I'm assuming Lamar's eyes go to when I, when I slow the back view down. Yeah, again, like in the, the two previous plays, if he comes down inside, pull it right up in there. If he fans out and, and I'm sorry, wrong button. If he drops out like that, hand it off, let Mark Ingram do his thing. All right? That's simple. 
Count the box again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you want to count him, they got eight. So they got numbers. But just watch. Let it unfold. Look at that. See how he came down with the run? Because Lamar did a good job with these fakes. A great job with these fakes. Hollywood did a good route. Come flat now, Hollywood. Come flat. Come flat. Now, yes, Hollywood catches this, and yes, he goes to school. But I'm hollering, come flat. Let me tell you why. Let's see if I can get it right where I want it. All right. If he comes flat down this line, obviously there's nobody right here. There's nobody in this space, right? There's nobody in this space. If he comes flat down this line, the DB doesn't have a chance to close on it. Now, he's going to drift up the field. And the guy has a chance to kind of get his hands on him and maybe tackle him or maybe even knock the ball out late. But if he comes flat, if he comes straight down this line like he coming now, that dude don't touch him and he go to go for six. I mean, I take the touchdown, but, you know, just little nuances. And, again, that's simply – there's three simple ways the Ravens, you know, run their RPOs. Um, Second-level linebacker reads is if – if, if, the read guy does X, you do Y. And if he does Y, you do X. It's, it's that simple. But you got to have the threat of the run. They got to respect the run before you can do that. Because that those linebackers were selling out to stay in that gap to stop the run. So that's why those open lanes were there. You got you to gotta have a guy that can run wraps too now. So that's why I think um, Prochet, that's why I think Duvernay, that's why I think they're going to make their bread and butter on little routes like that. So this is uh, Coach Evans coming to you with a quick little uh, RPO scheme from the Ravens. Uh, and it's not all of their RPOs. It's just little simple ones I decided to pick out. I appreciate you guys for coming through. I appreciate everybody that helped me to get to 4K. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, see you when I see you. Peace.